Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild Realistic Hunt series and before we actually get into the hunt I wanted to real quickly talk about a few things So first of all, I put up a poll after the last episode and asked you guys if you wanted me to do it super Hardcore realistic in kind of a TV show style like I did episode 2 or if you guys preferred episode 1 or a combination of both and the majority you said kind of a combination of both so I think what we're gonna do is we might try to maybe not whisper so quietly because there were a few people that were saying it was a bit hard to understand so we'll still be doing the whispering near animals but maybe not quite as extreme as I was before but we'll kind of test things out and see what you guys think another thing that I wanted to say is we got some pretty good suggestions when it comes to perks and that is to uh, not use any of the perks that make my footsteps quieter or that uh, actually hide me. So we're going to go into the perks right here. I'll kind of show you guys what I've put them into. So for rifles, I've got it on muscle memory and then one into steady hands and then three into breath control. And I think this will be fine right here. I'm not going to do any more in the rifle perks. I think we're pretty much done here. Uh, when it comes to the handgun perks, I don't really see anything that I'm going to use it on. Uh, I feel like none of this is really going to help us that much. And nothing really will add to the realism, so we aren't going to do anything in handgun perks. Uh, shotgun perks, I believe the only thing... Yeah, we actually don't really need anything here, so I'll probably end up resetting this and using this perk point, perk point somewhere else. Uh, but then when we get to archery... I'm probably going to actually put quite a bit of my perk points into archery because most of these are actually going to be pretty good. Uh, decreased fatigue when in aim mode. This will actually be pretty helpful. I think that stuff like this is actually going to keep it pretty realistic and it'll be more of just, I guess, it'll make it seem like we practice with our bow and that we're getting better with it. So um, I'm not going to do any of this or uh, this one right here, but I will do pumping iron and recycle because getting our arrows back after we shoot them will be pretty helpful and also getting more kinetic energy will also be helpful so that's what we're going to do perk wise skill wise i'm not going to be doing any of these ones or these ones i'm mainly just going to be doing ones that control like heart rate uh health stuff like that nothing that'll give us too much of an advantage i'm not going to do anything in ambusher because there's nothing really useful there so, yeah, we're going to kind of keep the perks realistic. I'm not going to be using the improvised blind one because that does give you an advantage. We want to make this difficult, so that's what we're going to do for perks. Another question that I got was why I am choosing to use soft point ammo. And it's mainly because a lot of the soft point ammos will only hit single lung, which should make it so the animals actually run a little bit further, which if we're trying to go for kind of a realistic feel, I think having to do a little more tracking will actually make the game... A little bit more fun and a little more immersive so we're gonna try using just polymer or uh, no polymer tips and only using soft point ammo and see how it goes and if we like it we'll keep doing it like that so without with all that said let's get straight into today's episode all right so it's about 1 30 p.m. and today we're actually gonna be heading out for some mountain goat We've heard that they tend to rest around this time, so we're going to head out into the mountains and hope that we can come across a couple billies. We've been trying to find them for the last couple days and haven't had a ton of luck, but we've been given some tips that they do tend to hang out in these mountains along this area. So we are going to try and hunt through this region and just see if maybe we can come across a group of them. We haven't seen any so far, but... The trip is still pretty early and we would like to scan that area a little bit and see if we can come across any signs of them. If we don't come across anything like that, we still do have a tag for mountain lions. So if we come across a mountain lion while we're up there looking for mountain goats, then that would also be kind of a nice bonus if we could manage to do that. So we're going to head out. We are going to be using a 6.5 and this gun is known to be pretty good for long range. So... We've got it dialed in and we should be able to hit relatively long shots on these goats. Hopefully we won't have to do a super long shot, but if it comes down to it, we should be able to. Oh wow, we've actually spooked off some goats right there. It does look like these are all females, so we can't take any of these, but it's good to know that they are in the area. And this is not too far away from the lodge that we've been staying at, so it's good to know that we don't have to go too far to at least find some. But... As I was saying, none of these are going to be ones that we can actually take, so 
We will have to let these guys go and just hope that there's some billies in the area. Alright, so we made our way up to this tower, and as you can see, those are the goats that we ended up spooking off towards the beginning of this episode. And as far as I can tell, they are all females. Doesn't seem to be any billies in sight, so it's a little unfortunate, but there's definitely quite a bit of activity around here. Definitely a lot more than I was expecting. So it's good to know that we are in the right area, and we're definitely in mountain goat country. We're now approaching the top of the uh, Colorado Rockies, and so far we haven't seen anything since that first herd of females. Unfortunately, we've had pretty poor luck with uh, males, and we've been out here for quite a while, and just no luck so far. Really hoping that it's not going to take too much longer. We've been going on for over an hour now, and not really seen much action besides those females, so it's not looking great for us, but... We still have time, and I feel like we will get something eventually. What you guys are seeing in front of us right now is the first Billy that we've seen all day. This guy's a pretty average size one. He's nothing insane, but I've seen so little today that I feel like I might want to try and take this guy out. He's at a really awful angle, though. I don't know if we'll be able to get him from his current angle, so we really might have to wait for him to turn around. And that could take ages, honestly. They still have quite a bit of time to be resting, and we don't really want to take a shot from the front like this, so unfortunately we might have to pass this guy up unless we can somehow get some kind of roundabout approach on the left or right side of him and get a good angle, but most likely he'll have ran off by that time, and there's not really much we can do at that point. So I really feel like we're probably just going to have to let this guy go. He's not a monster anyway, so... It is what it is, and that's just hunting sometimes. Can't win them all. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. We got some more billies. And this time we actually have quite a few of them. So this is probably going to be our opportunity to take ourselves a nice billy goat. Now, we're probably going to have to try and work our way around to the right and... See if maybe we can get a decent angle on this guy. Because I don't want to take that particular shot right there. It's just not a reliable shot to try and take on this guy. So we are going to try and work our way to the right. And hopefully we can get this guy down. It's honestly just really nice to see a good sized billy goat. So we don't want to mess this up. We need to make this shot count. Alright, so we're getting close to an area where we would be able to make this shot just going to be a matter of whether or not it'll be enough. Definitely getting close to an angle where we can actually take this. I still don't feel comfortable with this particular angle. It's a little bit quartering still, and we want to make sure that this shot is perfect. So we are going to work our way around a little bit more, but we shouldn't have to go too much further. Once we do get to a good spot, we'll try to find a flat spot where we can actually lay down and get a good steady shot and... Squeeze the trigger on this guy. I actually just got another one right here. I didn't see this one at first, so... There is another one over to the left of the one that we were going to target. I still think this guy is a little bit bigger and we're going to take him, but... Good to know that there are more near him in the area. It's making me wonder if there's even more, but... I haven't seen anything else, so... This guy's still our target, and... We're going to see if we can get him down. Alright, I think we've got ourselves to a good area. This should give us a perfect shot at this guy. Let's go ahead and get down. Get our shot steady. Take a quick look at it again. This is a much better angle. I'd say we can definitely hit this. We want to make sure we can get into at least one of the lungs. So we can get a clean kill on this Billy right here. So, let's go ahead and get lined up. As you can see, we've been out here for close to two hours now, and I'm just happy we finally got ourselves a nice one in our sights. Let's see if we can get steadied on this guy. We don't want to screw this up. Well, I don't know what went wrong there, I guess. 
The wind could have been a factor, but no matter what happened there, the shot did not connect, and there's really not anything we can do about that, sadly. But the hunt continues. Hopefully we can catch up to him again later in the day, but we've taken our shot now, and there's almost no chance of anything else being in the area, so I think we're going to call the day, and we'll come back out tomorrow. All right, so we just got a call from a local farmer that has told us that there is a pretty massive mountain lion that's terrorizing their mule deer herds, and they want us to come and take them out. Now, we do have a mountain lion tag, so we're going to go see if we can help them out and get this cat down. We are 100% going to be bringing a larger gun for this job, though. I don't trust my 6.5 to take down a mountain lion, especially if we're going to have to take it from a longer range, because from the sound of it, this is not one that we want to get close to, so... We are going to pull out our 7mm and use that on him to make sure that we get a good clean shot and get him down as quick as we possibly can. Oh, would you guys look at that. That right there is a truly amazing sight. Unfortunately, we don't have a tag for Rocky Mountain Elk, but that thing is an absolute beauty. Very sizable bull that anybody would be happy to take. We'll have to come back for this guy later in the season once Rocky Mountain Elk season starts. Definitely a beautiful bull. Super sizable bull. But we're going to have to let him go and continue on. we got to head up and take that mountain lion out anyway. and We don't want to let that wait. Alright, so they sent us the coordinates on our GPS and it looks like it's going to be... It's not at this lake, but there's another lake down further that we will be at the correct area, and there should be a pretty large mountain lion there. They didn't give us any idea of how big it is, but all they said was that it was big enough to where it was an actual threat, and they didn't want it to stay around, so we're going to help them out, and hopefully we can get this thing down without too many issues. But by the sound of that, that does not sound very nice. This is not a situation we want to be in. Things could easily go very wrong right now, and all I have is a single shot 7mm. And by the sounds of it, there's multiple cats in the area. This is not how we wanted things to go, and I'm starting to think this isn't going to go my way. There are mountain lions everywhere. I think this is the one that he's told us about. This has to be it. This is an absolutely giant cat. I don't see how this wouldn't be him. So, we're going to see if we can get this guy down. He's pretty far out, I'd estimate. 150 to 200 meters. So it's not going to be an easy shot, but we should be able to get this guy down. But don't have too much time left. It's 723 right now, and he says they typically leave the area at around 8, so I need to get this guy down as quickly as possible so that he doesn't terrorize the mule deer herds anymore, so Let's see if we can get this shot lined up on him. <laughs> got him. Okay, we got him. That will do the trick right there. That is an absolute giant cat. I am very happy that we got this opportunity. And just like that, we have helped out a local farmer with his mountain lion problem. The mule deer herds should be safe now. We took care of the one that was being coming the issue, and this is a beautiful cat. I'm very happy that we get to add this guy to our trophy lodge while also helping someone out in the process. So let's go ahead and bag this guy, get him tagged. And we will move on back to our billy goat hunt. Look at this guy right here. What a giant. Absolute giant of a mountain lion. And we nailed him with a perfect shot. I was a little bit worried that we wouldn't be able to get this shot as perfect as it was needed to be. But in the end, we ended up doing it. So that is very awesome. Let's get this guy sent to the taxidermist and we'll check him out in our lodge later. A very, very good looking mountain lion, but unfortunately that does fill our mountain lion tag, so we won't be able to take any others if we do come across them, but I think this guy is 
It's definitely a mountain lion of a lifetime, so I don't think that's going to be too big of an issue. Alright, so we've been back out in the mountains for a little while now and haven't come across any more goats. We did end up deciding to stay with a 7mm Magnum because we figured this is probably going to be just as good, if not better, of a long range shooter as the 6.5 Creedmoor round. So we ended up staying with the 7mm Magnum. These goats are most likely going to be somewhat far away, so we do want to have as good of a long range stopping power as possible. And 7mm should definitely do the trick, so we decided that we would just keep it on us and... I do think that in the end that is going to be the right choice and it'll be a much better suit for this particular challenge. So we've decided that we're probably going to head north and there's a couple lakes up there and there's a mountain range that goes in between. We're going to kind of stick to the mountain range. We've heard that there's quite a few goats that tend to bed up there so it's going to be our best bet we think so hopefully that pans out the way we want it to. Otherwise I don't know what our options are going to be. We're running short on time and there's really not much options left so hopefully this ends up giving us the goat that we've been looking for there we go after searching for hours we finally have come across another mountain goat and this guy he's another decent sized one we definitely want to get a good shot on this once again this isn't a favorable angle though so this is going to take a little bit of stalking and rotating around to the right and then we'll see if we can maybe get a shot on this guy. So nice to see. It's very nice to see another goat after so long of looking around and not finding anything. Alright, well on the way over to get a better angle on this guy. I noticed that there's actually a couple more here and... This guy's a little bit smaller but he's in a much better spot so he's definitely a possibility. But then we got this guy right here. And... I think it's going to be a toss up between the first one and this one right here. If this guy gives us a better shot, we might end up taking him instead. But it's really going to be a toss up between which one will actually give us the shot we need. At this point, we might have to settle for just whichever one will give us the shot. Okay, this guy got up. This guy right here got up. Okay. This might be our chance right here. I want to make sure we can get a good shot on him. This guy's giving us a perfect shot now. Oh, let's take a deep breath and get this guy on the ground. That's two times today that we've been screwed over by something, but it's really hard to say what. Let's get down and get another shot on this guy. To wait for him to calm down and there's not even a guarantee that he will but we don't really have much choice now not really many other options looks like this guy has actually calmed down we got him down <laughs> let's go there we go we got him oh my gosh the amount of time that we've been trekking through these mountains trying to find ourselves a billy and we finally got one down. It is now 1608 so it's been quite a while since we started the hunt today. We started traveling through here at about 1330 and it's now 1608. And we finally got ourselves a billy on the ground. Let's go up and get this guy tagged. Well, he's definitely not the biggest one we saw during this trip, but sometimes you just got to take what you can get, and this guy gave us the opportunity, and we managed to get him down on the ground, and he's still a very sizable and a very respectful goat. Let's go ahead and put our tag on this guy. This guy's honestly a decent sized one. Very good looking goat. Very good looking goat. So the hunt ended in a success. After messing up on the first couple shots on these goats, I really did not expect that we'd even get one, but we finally got a shot into one and ended up taking it down. Another successful hunt, and let's go check this guy out, along with that mountain lion that we took out.
in the lodge. All right, everybody, we are now in the lodge, and I just real quickly wanted to say that I decided that I'd throw that little mountain lion in there. I hope you guys enjoyed having that in there. I probably won't be doing that in the future, but I ended up finding that guy when I was actually grinding mountain lions to try and get enough cash to reset all my skills and perks for this account. And so I figured since I had found him, I might as well add him into this in some form. So hope you guys enjoyed that little thing in there. And uh, we probably won't do it in the future, like I was saying, because I do want to make sure that the majority of these kills are just ones that we end up randomly finding because it does make it a lot more fun. So we do want to try to keep it as organic as possible. And as you can see, I do have some stuff in here from when we were doing the leveling account because this is our old leveling account that I ended up turning into this account right here. So I'm going to eventually have to put all these up in our uh, other lodge for the leveling series that we did. But this is the mountain lion that we got right here. I don't know where we're going to end up putting him in this lodge. I'm guessing for now, we should probably just do something up front since that's kind of what we're filling up. So we got that and then we got our mountain goat. So we'll put those right there. Nice. But yeah, I just figured I'd let you guys know that this was something that I found while grinding. But I wanted to incorporate it in some way, so I hope you guys liked the way that I put it in there. Let me know if you guys want to see more of that in the future if you want me, to, or if you want me to just keep it uh, as completely random. But I'm definitely interested in seeing what your guys' opinions are. We had a lot of really good opinions and comments and suggestions on the last video, so I'm very eager to see what you guys think of this. I tried to make as many tweaks as I could to make this as enjoyable of a series as possible, so... Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. It does help out the channel more than you guys could imagine. Hitting like is one of the best ways that you can support the channel because it does help my video get recommended more. So if you don't do anything else, at least hit the like button. If you enjoyed the channel, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.